Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. I'm doing a little ozone experimentation. Figure I'd give you guys a quick little behind the scenes look. Um, so far I've been running ozone for about an hour and a half-ish. And what I'm doing, about 25 milligrams on my 100 gallon tank. And I have it running. So right now I have a Sunai PAR meter in the tank. And that's measuring the PAR. So I'm seeing what kind of a effect ozone has on PAR. And I'm also doing a time lapse. So I got the camera taking a photo every five minutes so I can see, hopefully I'll be able to have a visual way to see how the ozone affects the water clarity. And I'm also monitoring ORP. I got the new double junction apex ORP probe in there. So we'll see what it's at so far. So it's had a big jump in ORP since I started the experiment. I'm going to run it for three hours total because my plan was kind of three hours a night, running at about 50%. So ironically, when I first started, if that shows up, my pH dropped a bit, and now it's raising. So it was at 8.03, it dropped to 8.01, now it went up to 8.06. My ORP was around 230, now it's up to 275. So it is showing it is cleaning the water. It is definitely starting to, visually it looks clear. I put a white piece of plastic, uh, can I flip the camera? Yep, there we go. Never live streamed with my phone before, so first for everything. So I found this lovely scientific shoehorn. So <laughs> that is in the back, just to give me kind of a white piece of plastic or something to look at that's white, so I can kind of see the difference and see if it changes more yellowy to white as the ozone goes on. So, so far I think the experiment's going pretty well. Uh, when I first started, I was around 220 to 230 par. Now it's more around, I'd say averaging 240 to 260-ish. So there's definitely increasing par, and ozone's gone up, pH has gone up, which is nice because I was hoping it would raise pH, I was really curious about that. So yeah, so far so good, I'm about in, time is it, almost two hours in out of my three hours. So hopefully it's going to be good. What's going on guys? Yay ozone, exactly right, I've been wanting to experiment with this for ages. So I don't know if there's anything else I should be testing, or if there's anything else you guys want to know, let me know. Uh, did I get a new pH probe? Yes, I did. I got a, the Apex Double Junction pH probe, or, or a P probe, sorry. So that guy is just chilling in the back there. So that's nice and new and freshly calibrated. Uh, the other thing I did, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but I'm going to try to extend the photo period of this one, just to see if it makes a difference on pH. Might do a little bit more of a boost, so we'll see. But yeah, so brand new probe, recalibrated. And I think the old probe's kicking around somewhere. <laughs> yep, there's the old probe. So this one, which I was questioning on the end, it looks like there's... I won't quite focus on it, but there was a second bulb that looks like it was buggered. So that's kind of why I ended up buying a new one, just because I didn't fully trust it. The reading was slightly higher with it. Uh, the other thing I did was I made this lovely carbon filter to go on top. So it's made an acrylic ring that goes on the lid, and I drilled holes to line up the skimmer holes. A little bit of felt and then put carbon around it so realistically like you know 99% of the ozone should be absorbed within the reaction chamber however just in case any goes out the carbon will absorb it so nothing actually vents into the room and my little ozone generator if you can see it on the back because it's kind of hanging on the back there and another little thing I did I put a little air stone on the intake just kind of acts as a filter to keep the dust and stuff out of it so we got that baby running 50% and it's definitely increasing the par, so it's clarifying the water. Um, it is physically looking clearer to me. So, I mean, it's still a little hard to say just by human eye, so I'm going to be able to compare the pictures because it's on manual. So every five minutes is taking a picture. I'm going to let it run for three hours until I'm fully finished. What's going on, Rico? What's going on, Crazy Freddy's Reef Tank Salt Water? Jay Carey in the house. So yeah, so far so good. It looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do, and how well it's going to work is we're going to find out. But yeah, quick random live stream just to, I don't know, show you guys my random experiments. Rico Suave. So yeah, you can see it's like a huge jump in orb since I turned it on. And pH has went up, now it's actually dropping a little bit, so... It may partially be just because my lights are on a constant mode. Yeah, that's okay. You can log into my iPad if you really want. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the interesting thing is 
whether or not it's actually affecting pH or if that's just because my lights are on a static setting constant which is brighter than I normally have them. So I'm probably gonna have to run it at night and then kind of monitor it and see if it makes a difference to fully know if ORP affects pH. I've heard mixed opinions on it from looking online so it's the next thing I'll try and figure out. So if you guys have any questions let me know otherwise yeah just a little random live stream for probably what's gonna be on Monday's video but I need another day or two to experiment with it more and fully verify what it's actually doing. And what else we get? Ozone generator, what did you get? I got um this guy. See if I can turn the light on. So there is I'll flip the camera. So I got that guy as my little ozone generator, so it's a 5 to 50 milligram unit. And if it works well, I'll share a link later, but I figured I'd test it for a few days first to make sure it actually works well. The only pain in the butt thing is I had to buy a power inverter, because it was a European plug, so I had to go spend 20 bucks on this little brick to make it work on a Canadian US plug. So that part was kind of a pain. But aside from that, it was cheap, even with the converters, a heck of a lot cheaper than the ones you find on. The rest some of those other sites, I think I'm into it for 50, 60 bucks versus a couple hundred bucks. So for the price, can't really complain. Kind of happy with how this worked. It actually looks fairly slick for a little carbon filter. A lot of people threw a bag on top, but I got a pretty big skimmer lid, so it'd be a huge bag to do that. So I think it'll work well. Uh, the other thing I thought was kind of interesting, Canadians were European. Yeah. So um, a lot of people said that ozone can actually less than the effect of skimming, but so far, I don't see any effect at all. I mean, it's still doing tons of foam. So maybe if you do too much ozone, it can hurt skimming, but so far it looks like it's skimming just as well as normal, maybe even a little bit better. I mean, that part's still too early to tell, but I've noticed no difference on skimming. It does physically seem a bit clearer. Um, won't know 100% until I can check out the photos afterwards. But it does look like it's getting a little bit clearer already, which is nice. And yeah, and ORP is raising, pH is raising, so that's all I got so far. But I'm gonna let it run for one more hour, so a total of three hours. And we'll see where it's at from there. Uh, I can't actually look back at the comments, or can I? No, I've never live streamed from my phone before. There we go. Do, 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 do. So if you guys got any questions, let me know. Or anything else you think I should be testing or experimenting in regards to ozone. Um, how is the cheat reactor working for you? Big enough for your reef tank? Those waves are so close to the edge. Yes, when I have the top on, the waves are literally like grazing it. Uh, the cheat reactor is working well. Yeah, look at that. It's like literally like half a fingernail, not even from the top. I like to run it nice and close. Looks good. The only downfall is sometimes if a fish jumps, they hit the screen mesh and then it will suck into the water. It's a bit of pain. Uh, Cheetah reactor is working well. Um, I've been slack and haven't tested nitrates in a while. It looks like it's pretty full and probably due for an emptying. Been a bit lazy with it, so I realistically will probably leave it till next week and then empty it. I figure there's a little bit of room in the top for it to squeeze some more in first. So that's one thing I like about the Cheetah reactor rather than the turf scrubber is you can be lazier with it. For a turf scrubber, you kind of almost have to clean it weekly. Where with this, you can get away with leaving it for longer. I mean, the chato will just compact more. I don't think it's gonna stop growing. So I think that's kind of a nice benefit of it. Uh, the other interesting thing with, was saying, uh, Jake was saying on Michael's live stream the other day, is that a turf scrubber will actually release more yellowing agents and other things into the water. So it's kind of nice that this one doesn't have that much of an issue. So it's kind of a nice bonus. What's going on, Steve? Dr. Welsh, Dave's Nanotank. Reef Spy, like my reactor. You should, definitely would. I'd recommend these for sure. Super slick. Hey Mage. This was just with um, just a Vertex reactor I picked up for uh, 45 or 50 bucks. Um, there's tons of other cheap ones you can use. Basically any clear cylinder will work. And just wrapped LEDs around it so it was really easy to do. Reefing with O. Hey Al, what's going on guys? Welcome to the random ad hoc live stream. Probably only gonna be for about 15 or 20 minutes. Just because I want to sneak a quick one in while I was doing my tests to show you guys what I was up to on this Saturday evening. Thank you, thank you. 
Alex GS Aquarium. Thank you, sir. My lovely carbon ring. My bit of acrylic. Yeah, so I don't know. So far, I think it's working pretty well. Haven't really done much else with the tank. I fought with a, my other bubble tip because it was getting too big today. I took I sat there for about an hour with a power head trying to get it off, but there was two bubble tips there and I ended up getting one of them off and sold one today. Just because it was getting a bit close to the corals, but I'll show you this guy. But yeah, that whole corner over there was another second bubble tip. It was huge, so. Back down to one now. 100% uh, on the reactor. Uh, they are probably... Oh, thanks, Respy. Uh, on the reactor, I, I toned them down a little bit. They're probably about 95%, just so they didn't run as hot and they'll last longer. But the tank is making me very happy lately. If you're getting... I, don't know, I have some pictures of that guy from even a week or two ago, and it was not nearly as big. Like Things are just been cresting like crazy the last while, while my tank, so... Whatever's going on in there, things are happy. Lots well, of good growth. Even the ones that little frags up there, you can see are starting to go on. That guy. Even that, I just threw that frag up there probably two weeks ago and it's already crossing under the rock around it, so. Yes, it is Saturday night. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Alex G. The only little complaint I have is I get little bits of I don't know if it's a like green sand or what it is, but there's little bits. It's not really anywhere else in the tank, just this bit, but this one area gets it. Maybe it's a flow related, I don't know. Now the interesting thing is I heard ozone in theory can help with that, so that's the other thing I'm kind of keeping an eye out for to see if I notice a difference and if it does eliminate that bacteria at all. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's about all I got for updates. Uh, oh shoot, just hit the camera. Hopefully that didn't mess it up too much. Make sure it's still in the right position. Ah, oh, figures. Air with my memory card. So much for that experiment. Got to fix that. All right, so half the good thing I checked it. All right, guys. Any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm probably going to wrap her up pretty quick as this was just a, a quick random update on the experiments. Hmm, another one. Per actually, per has actually increased a little bit. It's jumping around, but it's going up to 75, or it was more 72, 73 earlier. Thanks, everybody. If you enjoyed the random ad hoc stream, hit that thumbs up button. It's the first one I think I've ever done. And yeah, interesting. Pars jumped about 30 points on average from running it. So there you go. Clear water. Get more out of your lights from a little ozone. All right, guys. Gonna jump off. I gotta go fix the time lapse now that I just realized the memory card is buggered. But thanks for hopping on for the random stream. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Cheers, guys.